Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I have another self-tanner review and some demonstrations for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about the Jergens Instant Sun Glow, aka Instant Self Tanner. So, let's get started. <music> Jergens is finally the first brand at the drugstore to come out with an instant self tanner or at least just one that works actually gives you an instant sun tan. It's awesome. I was really excited and I've just had to pick it up. So first let's go ahead and get into the facts and then I'm also going to just show some quick clips of how I apply it, what I apply it with and just stuff like that. So the price. I found this retail for about like $11.39 to $12.99 depending on where you get it. Um, I picked mine up at Walmart and it was $11.99. As for the size, it comes in a 6 fluid ounce bottle which is really big. Like you can see here, this one is from Million Dollar Tan. Though this is their smaller version, um, you do get a lot of product in here. And then this is the one from Bare Minerals. So it is a really big bottle and especially for the price, that's awesome. As for the texture here, we're getting a mousse formula which you guys know is my favorite type of sunless tan formula. It's just so easy to blend, so easy to work with and it just really helps not to miss any spots and that's what I'm all about. For shade selection they come in two different shades. This one right here is the deep bronze and then they also have a light bronze. Now whenever I'm personally picking up a self tanner I always get like the deep bronze or like the medium to deep or something like that just because typically especially at the drugstore um, those self tanners are never going to be instant and I want to get like that really nice bronze glow so I always go for like the deepest version that they have. Now, this stuff is intense. I actually also noticed on Instagram, I posted a picture of this when I first got it and asked if anybody had tried it, what your opinions are, and a couple people said that they didn't notice a difference with it, and so I was kind of like bummed out about it. Um, I was kind of like, well, this kind of sucks, it's not going to work, anything like that. So then that night, I applied it to my skin, and you guys, it is intense. I get about like a three to four shade deeper tan, which is amazing. I also think this is a product, the deep bronze one especially, that if you have a tan, and like if you already have a slight tan and then you add this, it is going to enhance the crap out of it and make you look like you've been on vacation all week. Some are tropical, some are really hot, something like that. What it's claiming here is like a flawless, natural looking color instantly and that's exactly what it does. So now let's get into like the nitty gritties and personal preferences about sunless tanners, everything like that. <laughs> they do claim it dries in 60 seconds and right off the bat you guys, I've got to tell you that not true. That's not the case for me. I notice that like an hour after I apply it, I'm still sticky. That is the one and huge con about this sunless tanner. But my favorite way to apply it is to apply it at night before I'm going to go to bed, but maybe like 30 minutes or so before I'm going to go to bed. That way you're not going to transfer any of it onto your sheets, anything like that, because it does not dry quick on me. <laughs> That's a bummer. But so then I do that and then I sleep on it. So I applied this last night and then I sleep on it. I wake up, take a shower, just lightly rinse off, do all that stuff, and I'm good to go. As for the scent, I actually really kind of like this scent, especially when I'm applying it. It's a really light, florally fragrance, if that makes sense. But then, um, as the time goes on, you do start to sort of get that sunless tanning smell. So again, that's why I like to apply it at night when I know I'm not going to be doing anything the rest of the night. Go to sleep, wake up, shower, and then you're good to go. In terms of how I apply it, I do use my Million Dollar Tan Mitt because these mitts are amazing, you guys. It's like a microfiber or memory foam kind of material. Memory foam is probably more accurate. And what I do is I start always with my arms. I don't know why I always start with my arms. And I'll do about three and a quarter pumps onto the mitt. And then I'll start working in. I do kind of like circular buffing motions all the way up to my arm, my shoulder. And that's how I kind of section it off. I go all the way up to my shoulders. And then then um, with whatever is left, I start to bring that down onto my hands and really focus on getting all the crevices around my hands and everything like that. And then I do like the twisting motion like I showed in my last um, tanning video so I get all the way around my fingers. Same thing goes with my legs. I do about two to three pumps for my calf area and then another two to three pumps for my thigh area. And then again I'll do those circular motions and then start working down towards my feet and my toes and really get all around those areas. In terms of my neck and my back, my neck is really easy to get and then I can get down to like my mid back and then if I put my arm down this way I can get again to like my mid back. I have really abnormally long arms so I don't have too much of a problem getting my back but I mean with all self tanners you might want somebody there to help you get your back area if that's a concern of yours. In terms of how long this lasts for me, I get about five days of full color. I get about five days out of this which isn't like the longest self tanner that I've ever used but for the price point, I think it's definitely worth it. And I like to re reapply again every five days to keep that really nice bronze. I specifically say do not apply to your face. Um, 
and in general, I already have sensitive skin, so in general, I'm kind of hesitant to apply self-tanner to my face. So when this one said, do not apply it to your face or it doesn't recommend it to your face, I stay away from that. So I don't know how this would work on your face. If you don't have sensitive skin at all, you, you maybe could try it. I personally don't, and then I just work with my foundation and everything like that. You guys can see, it does give a really nice, deep, beautiful bronze, but it, it's kind of interesting. It's probably not something I would notice if I had only used a self-tanner and no other self-tanners, but you guys know I, I have tried these two, and I do really like these two self tanners as well and it's funny because they all kind of give a different color so this gives kind of like a red brown tan if that makes sense and I don't want to say like a red brown because that makes it look like you're going to be sunburnt but I don't know what it is even when you pump it out it kind of comes off like they added a lot of red in there it's not going to be green it's not going to be orange they added a lot of red and so it almost when you have it on it almost looks like you are freshly tanned and you know very deep and bronze but it looks like you were outside for an extra like 10 to 15 minutes you know where you start to get like just a little bit rosy across your body and I don't know it doesn't bother me but it's definitely something to keep in mind because I was kind of like, whoa, this is different. That's because you guys know the Million Dollar Tan one that I use is a very like deep goldeny bronze. And then the uh, Bare Minerals Faux Tan is a very green based one. So they're all totally different. It's all really just based on personal preference and everything like that. I do really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you also want to catch some more videos from me, you can go to the Trust Me Cosmetics TMC Beauty blog. I will link it down below, where I also upload three days a week on their blog as well. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Fit Me Press Powder in 220. And there you have it. This side has all the steps that we just did. This side does it. You can see just from this right here. Major difference, major dark circle over here, and then so much lightness and brightness, and you just look healthier, 